Uh, today I'm looking at top bottom correction uh, when working with 360 videos. Uh, a video fresh off the camera will be in stereoscopic format, which is sort of two circles, one for each lens side by side. When you drag it onto the Ricoh Theta application, it gives you this option here with top bottom correction. What that will try and do is make the sky and the air and the ground on the bottom. So if you hold the camera to the side, it will sort of flip it and work that out. This is pretty good for pictures, but uh, when working with video, it tends to make lots of jerks in the video as it tries to work this out. Uh, so this is a real big problem. What I tend to do with videos is uncheck this and let it just go and convert that way. If you leave it checked, again, you'll have a lot of jerks. So let's have a look at two samples. This is a video from the Grand Canyon. This had top-bottom correction uh, enabled. Oh, and yeah, by the way, we're on, uh, you can see the jerking right, there as the right software there, tries yeah. to keep yeah, the sky and the, uh, the ground on the bottom. It's, yeah, it's almost unbearable to watch. Oh, right, Unfortunately, I've lost the original yeah. video, so I can't really saying, recover yeah. that. And I'm just going to have to work with it. Uh, if you know a way of undoing this, that would be great. Now, with this unchecked, there's a video here I took while on vacation. This had top bottom correction unchecked, so we can see the difference in the results of uh, both videos. Again, um, also walking at the same pace as before. So you can see the clear difference here. It's a lot smoother. Now, as long as you hold the camera in the right direction, the sky is going to be in the air anyway, as you can see here. So that's why I leave that unchecked. One last tip I want to leave is um, when converting videos from stereoscopic to equi rectangular, this, this is what this process is doing. If you use this software on Windows 7, I notice the bitrate uh, gets almost cut in half. These videos of a Ricoh Theta. Uh, S camera come in at uh, around 16,000 kilobits. On Windows 7, it takes them down into 8,000 kilobits. When using Windows 8 or higher, it doesn't do that. It keeps the bitrate the same. So it's something really strange happening with this software. But uh, I recommend converting your videos on Windows 8 or higher um, using Windows 10, and also in checking the top bottom correction when converting videos from stereo. Uh, Scopic to Equi Rectangular. And when using this software, it will inject the 360 metadata into the video. So when uploading to YouTube and Facebook, they understand it's a 360 video and will uh, change it accordingly. So um, I hope that helped.